All right, so boom. Hey, you guys, what's poppin'? Justin here. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. If you guys haven't watched my last videos, Speaking about Helix Sleep, you literally been under a rock. I just want to talk to you guys about the Sabana that they sent me. Sabana means blanket in Spanish, if you didn't know. But they sent me a blanket set with two pillowcases and a blanket and a bed sheet. And right now, my bed is a mess, as you can see. I'm on the wake up with it. <laughs> but we're going to fix my bed and make it look mad cute. Let me tell you something. These sheets that they gave me, these sheets are so soft, y'all. Like, y'all don't even know. Like, I'm about to fix my bed and tell y'all a little more about Helix Sleep. As you guys know, I recently just moved to Miami from New York, so I don't have my mattress with me. I miss it so much, and I can't always get it down here so I can sleep on it again. But when I did have my mattress, I got matched up with the Helix Sunset Lux. And what I love about this mattress is that it's super duper duper soft, way softer than the mattress that I even have now. And I'm a person that usually sleeps on my back or my side, I don't really sleep on my stomach. So I prefer a mattress that's super soft and I can sink into. Helix Sleep is a mattress company that suits all your needs, whether you want a soft mattress, a hard mattress, whether you sleep with a partner or alone, Helix has everything to satisfy everybody's sleep preferences. This specific mattress is the Helix Sunset Lux in the size full, and whether you sleep alone or with a partner, this mattress is the perfect size for both. The comfort level compared to the mattress that I have now, or even my old mattress, is nothing compared to this this bed is super soft i never want to get up i never want to get out of bed and it's perfect for me for someone who enjoys their mattresses on the soft side so this is me making my bed with my new helix sheets as you guys know from my last video sleep is super important to me so when i got the opportunity to collaborate with helix again i was so excited helix knows that everybody's different and everybody sleeps different so they made a sleep quiz that matches your body type and sleep preferences based on your different sleep positions and firmness preferences they have something for everybody's unique taste if you sleep with a partner or even sleep by yourself, you can take the quiz regardless and find something that is perfect and compromises for just you or both of you guys. Whatever preference you could think of, Helix has. And what's amazing about Helix is that they deliver your mattress right to your door for free. It just comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you really haven't tried, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial so you could get more than 3 months to make sure that you love your mattress. If you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. And the mattress is also super easy to buy online once you finish your quiz they match you with your perfect mattress and it's one two three all you have to do is put in your shipping information and you're done and yeah guys this is my bed all done up with my new helix sheets i love them so much they're super soft super silky and i can't get enough of them so even though i don't have my mattress right now i still have the sheets and i also have the adjustable pillow which i mentioned in my last video and i'm obsessed so make sure you guys check out helix i'll leave a link in the description box below so i you know i always got y'all with a discount so make sure you guys check that out in the description box all right y'all i think i want to tan wow I don't know. The sun is going down. What time is it? Oh, girl, the sun is about to go down. Well, let's check. Let's go see if the sun is going down or not. <sighs> y'all, like I said before, y'all want me to vlog just doing nothing. So, I'm going to vlog doing nothing. Oh, and it's kind of cold out here. Well, not cold, but it's like windy. Yeah, y'all, the sun is kind of going down. I was gonna tan, but I don't think I'm gonna tan no more because there's no motherfucking sun. But I wanted to talk to you guys about my body and stuff like that. You know what I think I'm gonna do though? I think I'm gonna do like a sunbathing video because I love to sunbathe. I haven't recently because in Miami it's been very like rainy and cloudy. These past couple days it's been cute, but I haven't taken advantage of that. But um, yeah, I love to sunbathe, so I usually come out here to tan anyway. So I think I'm gonna do like a sunbathing series and just talk about different things. And the next one will be about my body. So, cause you guys know I kinda got my body done. I say kinda because I still, I'm still under construction. You know, I wanna get one more procedure done and then I'm good. Overall, I wanna get, I wanna get my buckle fat removed. I want to get lipo. And I want to get, I think that's it. <laughs> Stay tuned. Oh, and I want my nose done. Y'all know I've been wanting my nose done for the longest. But that is the most expensive. And I would really, really have to save for that. So make sure y'all like and share my videos. <laughs> but, um, 
no seriously i think i'm gonna do that and talk about my body because you guys have been asking me a lot of you guys like my body already but i just feel like i still need like i'm not at my final form like if if i'm a pokemon i'm at my second form right now i'm at my second evolution my final evolution is gonna be the z but um i think i'm gonna try to go out tonight i lost my id like a dummy like i'm so dumb like i don't know where i lost my id at. i came from atlanta I, I had it when I was at the airport in Atlanta because I had to go through TSA, so I know I had it. I I came back home and like now I don't know where the fuck my ID is at, so. Y'all want to see something? Oh my God, it's so crazy. So y'all know I went like low-key food shopping last week. I blew through all my Capri Suns. I only have one left. I'm going to drink it. My milk, my thing, that's pizza from last night. Core flu. Just in case, you know, Corona want to sneak up on me. I got something for that ass. Y'all, I am so single. Not even Corona want me. Like, isn't that sad? Tell me about your tour, Justin. Tell me about your tour. It was alright, Atlanta was ghetto, though. Like, Girl, super Atlanta never said it was classy. They was mad at my comments when I was saying that. They like, Justin, you think everything is ghetto, you ghetto. I know I'm ghetto, but like, Atlanta was ghetto, Atlanta too. Atlanta is a ratchet. That's OD. the thing. Like, OD. I went to Atlanta, and it's like... Like... At least Florida is like southern, like no, I think like Florida Atlanta. is ratchet and Atlanta's ghetto. Mm -mm. Like Atlanta is ratchet as fuck. <laughs> Florida is just mad country and ratchet. I yeah, feel like, like Florida, but Atlanta's hella country too. Unless they're in like Buckhead. I don't think so. And I went to Buckhead and Lennox, and like ain't nothing was really popular. I don't think Atlanta's more country than Florida. Nah. Florida, they y'all y'all crazy. Y'all be like y'all have hunting season and shit oh like my that. God. That is the white people, please. <laughs> we need to edit all this out. Why? So we in a mall. And that's the floor right in there, y'all, was like this small. Honestly, I would have got something from there, but first of all, they don't have none of the samples out. And I saying I wanted the samples, but I need to see the colors. And they didn't have cover FX. I, I have cover FX on right now. And I don't like it because it's just the concealer. But I want to get the foundation because I heard the foundation is really good. So I think I'm going to get that. Baby, seems like everywhere I go, I see you. <laughs> I need me like a little drink. Honestly, I don't. Are we I, turning up tonight? Or what? Maybe. Y'all, well. let me tell you, I want to brunch. Oh my God, we got to do brunch on Sundays. What did no. you do Sunday? Oh, you were. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, okay, bitch. Uh-huh. All right, this Sephora look more promising, yeah. like a store. <laughs> Not a cut. Yeah, you brought me to, like, the cut. The one in the cut. Like, you brought me to the pop-up shop, girl. Oh, Imagine they be like, you can't record in here. No, I'm gonna make like that. No, you they do. What you got? Um, oh, Carol my God. Beauty bronzer. Uh-uh. He done messed up his nice jacket. Mm, this one is like a little too dark for me. Uh, this is the one I usually get, but this one is really yellow. The one that you tried on looks just like you. <laughs> that, that's too bright. That's this too... one's stromboli? No, it's not. I'm so sorry, but our questions are only for display, so you just can't uh, swatch. Okay. We can show you the colors if you would like to see. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Did you Yeah. I told you that was gonna happen. They be trying to say that. <clears throat> good morning, y'all. So it's giving like off the wake up. I'm talking about like breath on honey. Like just woke up. I see my camera right here, literally like looking at me, like because I have a nightstand right here. Get into the Capri Suns I was drinking last night. <laughs> Yo, bitch, let me tell you something. I just heard Suki Hana's, um, I mean, not Suki, bitch, because fuck that. Cupcakes this, back to, um, Suki. It's giving you gotta fight me now. Like, it's really giving, like, hands. Like, if I was Suki, it's, it's giving, like, bitch, tell me where you gonna be at so we can, like, just settle this because, girl, I'm not doing... I just don't got for the games. Like, I know it's all, like, rap and, like, creativity and stuff like that, but you say you gonna piss on my kids. Like, but I get Cupcake, though, like, bitch. 
bitch, don't play with me because I play harder, bitch. Like, for real. Like, you slap me, I'm going to shoot you. Like, I'm really, like, like, I really get that. Like, Suki talked about her mother, all right? And let's talk about them kids. Like, fuck is you talking about? Like, yeah, I, I get that. Like, I get that. But, like, if I was Suki is giving my like, girl, you just gonna have to fight me. Look what she said. You know how Hold on. Now, how you violate? How you say I'm gonna piss on your kids and make you hold the umbrella? Now you gotta fight me. Y'all don't mind my room, but y'all think this is cute? I mean, I'm just going to brunch. I'm not putting my, I'm not, I don't have my hair like this, don't worry. Y'all think this is cute for brunch? Sounds awful my pants though, but yeah, it's cute. I got my Gucci sneakers on. These pants are from Zara. My Marc Jacobs bag. A H&M shirt and my Dior shades. And we out. All right. I got to go because Kylie's going to fucking kill me. I'm not feeling this outfit now. But Kylie's going to literally kill me. So I can't. I'm always that late friend. Like, I really am always that late friend. But I'm that fab friend. I'm that late fab friend. <laughs> Um, I got everything, right? Oh my god, should I wear those shorts? I should wear those shorts. Oh my god, Kylie's gonna kill me, bitch. I feel like these shorts go better. Ugh. Oh my god, it seems like I'm my ass done. This shit is like ridiculous. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Excuse me? Oh my god. I fucking ripped a hole in my pants. This fucking fat ass. This looks better, right, y'all? Or is it giving homeless? Y'all tell me. Should I have to keep the pants? It's giving homeless, I feel like. <laughs> but the butt, I mean. Yeah, it's kind of giving homeless. I'm not wearing this. <sighs> let me change. All right, y'all, let me get ready so this bitch don't kill me. Hold on. Y'all, look at Cash. It reminds me of my dog. I miss Tiny so much. You can tell he's a boy, too. Look what Kylie did to him. Gonna dye him blue. Y'all, I gotta put um, Kylie's dog in my bag. Because we trying to get some brunch. You are so beautiful with um, the dog. So... Let's see how this works. Look at this big ass dog in here. And we worried about little cash. What I'm giving? Huh? Very much oh, white girl. Oh, oh, yes. Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. So dog. cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the other dog looking at him. It's giving peace. What you gonna get, dog? I'm vegan for all you guys that don't know. Yes, yeah, Oh my god, like y'all need to get on it. Stop eating all this bullshit. Get the body. So what was the last time you had McDonald's? McDonald's. <laughs> Even when I did eat meat, I did not eat at McDonald's. Oh please. How's the mac and cheese? Is it like baked mac and cheese or is it like Oh no, it's baked mac and cheese. It's legit. It's legit mac and cheese, not like okay. bougie version. <laughs> I was um, gonna say that. You sure? Sure. Cause I don't want no crap mac and cheese. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> Alright, so I'll do that. Mac and cheese? Yeah. And then can I get a strawberry a margarita? Yep, strawberry margarita. You want to do the strawberry spike. So strawberry spike. Okay. okay. So never mind. Yeah. Strawberry margarita. Yeah. You don't drink vodka. Just tequila. Oh wow. And you want bacon on the mac and cheese or plain? Hispanic be like. Yeah, bacon. Give me a Kylie. Uh, look what I found. Oh my god! I look crazy. So 2017. I know. Isn't April. that crazy? Look, look, look at you. Oh my god. You was twerking. Wait, hold on. I was outside. Pre Corona, times are lit. Ass was fast. Yo, literally, bud. Period. Your hair got so long. Look at my little butt. Oh my and look at your big butt. Now my butt look like that. <laughs> I still have those on the way too. Hey y'all, so 
I know most of this vlog has been in my room and it's like Justin what are you doing like but I'm getting ready to go to Vegas so look at this new bag I got y'all oh my god isn't this so cute I got it like as a crossbody but like when I probably wear my like little cut outfits I'll probably wear it like it's cute right a little crossbody moment do not mind my room it's a fucking mess I just don't like this. Like, I don't like that this is there. Like, if I wore it as a crossbody, I would want it like that, kind of. I just don't like this handle. I don't know. I may return it because it's not giving what it's supposed to give, but it's cute. I just needed a black designer bag because all my designer bag, like, green, red, my Mark Jacobs bag is like a fucking teddy bear look so this is cute to like wear every day but i feel like it's so big i don't know i'm not feeling it i'm feeling it but i'm not feeling it anyway it's cute though and when i wear my cunt looks i could wear it like that and just be outside like <laughs> but yeah this bag is super 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 cute wait let me turn yeah, so this bag is super cute. I wanted to vlog shopping yesterday, but like a dummy, I left my memory card. And then I got me this Burberry shirt. Burberry shirt. It's a regular black shirt, girl. It's nothing special. Wow, right, this is so cute. A little Burberry moment. Oh my God, you can't even see. Wait, hold on, y'all. Yeah, a little Burberry moment. What's up? What's the team? I'm about to be at the baby showers. Talk to me nice. Very much like, huh? Like, what? Like, excuse me? I gotta go in my bag. Y'all like this shirt? I love this shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. All my friends hate it, though. It's so me, though. Like, y'all know this is my vibe. Like, just loud. You want to know a funny story about this shirt, bitch? Y'all gonna get Y'all not even gonna believe me. Why some girl gonna come up to me in Miami? I'm in Miami with this shirt. Oh my God, I love this shirt. Stop motherfucking playing. Not everybody can pull this off. That's the problem. All my friends is like, Justin, that shirt is too much. Do not wear that. That is too loud. Like, what is that? This is my vibe. I love this shirt. But anyway... I was wearing this shirt in Miami, and some girl came up to me like, oh, do you party? Mind you, a girl. So I'm thinking like, I mean, I know when gay boys ask me, I know to say no, because I know that, you know, it's drugs or whatever. And for my gay boys who don't know, um, when somebody asks you if you party, that is methamphetamines, and you always say no, okay? But anyway, so she come up to me, I got that shirt, or she's like, you party? I'm like, yeah, kind of. She's like, really? You know where you could get some? I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, she means that. I'm like, no, I don't party like that. And she's like, oh, well, you know, I just saw your shirt and I thought your shirt was just so cute and so loud that um, I just thought you partied. I'm like, what sense does that make? Like, th does that look like a drug addict shirt? Like, what? I don't get it, but you know the girls. I really don't like my body right now. And it's not done. Like, the new body has to come in. I want to get lipo. Anyway, let me finish packing. Because now I got to go to the airport with no ID and do this whole thing. I'm about to take y'all with me so y'all can be my witness. Okay, guys. I'm on my way to the airport. And I don't have a no ID, so wish me luck because... I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. I just don't know how it is with, like, Corona and stuff like that and like how they doing stuff now so i don't know but uh, and i'm saying wish me luck because i don't have my id y'all i know y'all tired of seeing me in these Celine's, girl i gotta get me a new pair i know let me rock these are like my everyday glasses that i just want to chill with like when i want to wear glasses i just put these on like fuck it but um yeah let's go to the airport and see what it is Okay, y'all, so I just finished going through TSA. They was doing the most this time. Like, last time I flew without an ID, they made me wait maybe, like, they didn't even make me wait. The guy just did it one, two, three, approved me, and I went right through. So, usually, okay, so I'm going to tell you the process. Usually, you say you don't have an ID, 
they call a supervisor or whatever. The supervisor makes you fill out this form, basic shit, like your, your name, your address, whatever. Then they get on a call. And the lady was on the phone for a mad long. I don't know if they were busy or something, but she was on the phone for mad long and she's not saying nothing. She's just there on the phone. Then they asked me certain questions like, are you traveling alone? Well, this time it was different. I don't know if they changed it. I don't know if it goes by like airport, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Airport, uh, not deception. What's the word I'm looking for? You know the word I'm looking for. When it's like by case, by case basis, not deception. Why am I brain farting right now? Oh my God, I gotta stop drinking, girl. Discretion, right. <laughs> but last time it was so quick. Like I literally took 10 minutes. This time it took like 30 minutes. And then they had like this sergeant come to me and like ask me questions. Well, he wasn't, they, I'm not gonna say they asked me questions. They just asked me for like my social and stuff. And then um, I gave it to him and I was like, I have a picture of my ID. He was like, you got a picture? Let me see, like, and he looked and then they verified it. They called whoever the fuck they be calling. They be calling people. I don't know who they call. Like, I don't know if they call the president or like the White House or something. Cause they like, oh yeah, he was approved and like he's verified and checked and stuff like that. So I'm like, all right, I guess. And I went through, they checked my bag for like drugs. Well, not checked it, but they like swatched, swatched it, swabbed it for drugs. And that was it. And it was one, two, three, easy. So now I'm just waiting for my flight. I'm super early. I got here super early on purpose, just in case they was gonna try it. That, that process took like 30, 40 minutes, so. Guys, if y'all traveling with your ID, you can do it, but it's just like annoying. I was waiting there for mad long and my feet hurt. But, um, yeah, y'all, I'm going to Vegas. So sweet, nice. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog me in Vegas, girl, because I don't know, girl. I don't know what I'm giving, but, um, we'll see. Hey, you guys, so I just woke up, got ready. And this is my outfit for today. Rasta man, my powder bag, my Burberry shirt, and a beat one, a honey. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna try to go to Chrome Hearts today. I don't know. I can't really vlog like that, y'all, because I'm outside. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a field, <laughs> so I can't really vlog like that. But I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna go to Chrome Hearts today, and I love this Chrome Hearts in Vegas because you do not need a uh, appointment. So I'm in there like somewhere. Hopefully they got stuff because I heard like Chrome Hearts don't be having like they be selling out of all their stuff. Like you go in there and there's no clothes. I'm like what for real? So we'll see about that. This is my view, and this is the room. My room. It's cute. It's cute. The view is like. Whatever. I'm staying at the Aria, if you guys didn't know. And this is the view. That's the, like, runway. And yeah, we're about to see what we Vegas give. I'm going to the, this is the Chrome Heart store in Vegas, you guys. Okay, you guys, I have this Chrome Heart sweater. No, it's recording. All right, y'all, they was dick riding, so I couldn't show y'all, but I got the sweater that I had the first time. And this is the shops. All the different shops. That's Chrome Heart. I was gonna get this bag from Balenciaga, but it was too much. No shade. Like, it was like 2500 Oh, Bottega. I want a Bottega bag so bad, bro. Oh, I need to get my money up because the things I like cost money, okay? Yeah, this is the hoodie I got. I'm gonna show y'all. Oh. But uh, I hope it don't got makeup on it because you know I want makeup. But this how it look on me, y'all. It's cute. It's regular, yo. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Fashion is such a scam. Like this is nothing hot. I cannot believe people go crazy for this. I mean, it's cute though. I like it. But I'm gonna take my ass to sleep. I got one more day out here. And then I'm going back to Miami, so then I go back to New York, girl. I'm doing the most, but. You guys, I just changed hotels. Look how obsessed with this hotel I am. It looks so pretty. First of all, 
Look how pretty. Look at this. This is called the Venetian in Vegas. It is so, this is everything, like literally. Like what? I'm obsessed. Look at the ceiling, like what? Stop playing. Look at the man playing guitar. This is giving Cheetah Girls. I feel like I'm in Barcelona, bitch.